dusk. What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, that Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... You know what? It's nice to meet you in person, finally. Go get changed. Then head over to the gym. The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks. Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. Don't call me new guy, or rookie, or any other condescending nickname. Especially since from what I hear, you guys have only been here a week. Okay, suit yourself. And you're right, I've only been here a week, but I've been doing this since I was a kid in Mexico. Which is a lot longer than you. So, what? Your dad or uncle were wrestlers or something? <laughs> Must be nice. No. I got myself here. Sorry. I didn't mean any disrespect. I think being called those names just rubbed me the wrong way since I was definitely not a rookie on the football field. It's all good. So what brings you here then? I love playing football, but I just kind of got burnt out going from college to the pros and wanted a new challenge. I started training for this a few months back and WWE took notice. That's good. But don't expect this to be easy. You're going to have to work as hard, or harder, than you ever have before to make it to WWE. I realize that, and I respect everything that WWE superstars do, inside and outside the ring. But there have been a lot of guys who crossed over successfully from football to wrestling, and I plan on being the next one to do it. I like your determination. Now let's see if you have what it takes to get the ball in the end zone. Hey, who are you? First day training here. It's nice to meet you in person. Since I transitioned from football to wrestling, I've been watching a lot of your matches from Japan. And when I heard you were here, I was pumped to get in the ring with you. Yeah, well, you better act fast since I don't plan on being here too long. Why is that? Because they should have never sent me here to begin with. I don't belong in the same place as someone just crossing over from football or some stupid former mascot. If you haven't met that goon yet, don't bother. Don't underestimate me just because I come from another sport. Besides, I wouldn't be the first wrestler to transition from football. Yeah, well, I kind of wish you were the last. You talk a good game, but when this is over, you'll be running back to whatever team you were cut from. I've never run away from a challenge, and that's not going to change now. I look forward to proving you wrong. I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Thanks. You're a football fan? <laughs> no, not really. I just like your team's colors. Big purple fan. That'll be the color of my gear when I get to WWE. But anyway, I actually have an athletic background too. I spent some time in minor league baseball. Really? Who'd you play for? Well, I wasn't a player. I was actually a mascot named Ribby. But I was around a ton of good athletes. Oh, 
Okay. Well, that counts for something, I guess. The best part of the job was they used to have indie wrestling shows at the stadium all the time, where I got to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. Even if Lawler helped get your foot in the door, you wouldn't be here if you weren't talented. I'll see you out there in a bit. Ah, oh, sounds good, buddy. Oh, and before I forget, can you sign your football card for me before you leave today? Sure. Just as long as you don't sell it online. Ah, well, then you know what? I can get it some other time. I'm just messing with you. If you can make a few bucks, then good for you. And literally, it might only be a few bucks. See you out there, Chase. I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase! What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stamford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input, but ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here so you can showcase your talents. I'm ready for that now. Yeah, we know you think that, but it's not your call, big shot. Okay, now that all that's out of the way, we're gonna start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right, new guy, since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you want to face. Okay, let's get started.
Before you say anything, do you really think you just got everything I had? It's obvious I shouldn't be here. Cool. Is that what you're gonna tell Triple H? Because he probably want an explanation for why the hottest free agent signing since AJ Styles just lost to a nobody. Triple H wasn't watching our match. You think so? Cause I'm pretty sure after I beat you, I looked up at the camera and saw it zooming in on me. Probably Triple H wondering who this rookie was who just showed him they're wasting a crap ton of money on an overhyped bust. Face me when it really counts, and we'll see what happens. Here's the thing. I think it already did, and we saw what happened. But I'm happy to give Triple H a replay anytime. Hey, big news. We got another member of DX coming to help out for a bit at the PC. Hornswoggle? Uh, no. You know, I have to agree that the DX you were a part of was the best one. Damn straight it was. But you know who disagrees? You guys took what they started and made it ten times better. That's what I always say. Anyway, what if when X-Pac is here, we had a match to settle this debate? You, me, and X-Pac against Sean, Hector, and Chase. That sounds awesome. And if Let's we... not go crazy.
break. Hey, Rookie, 